Caterpie. Do you wanna go on a walkies? Have you got your little Caterpie? Have you got your little Caterpie? Have you? Yeah? Come on then. Let's get your little harness on. Hey Bob. Come on. Huh? Here. There may be something new in our driveway. Be excited for it, Bob. Come on. Come on. Good morning. I'm looking glam. <laughs> My hair is in a um, hair mask. So I've got my nice cozy hat on because it's very cold today. We have a very exciting delivery. We've got this car for two weeks. We're working with BMW on an extremely exciting project and I can't explain to you how exciting this is for me. I'm just so excited to be working on this. We are going on a really fun trip. We're using this car and I have never owned an electric car. It's been a dream of ours for so long. And I don't wanna go on about it too much because I'll probably talk about it more in um, the video where we uh, talk about the trip and the car and everything. But both of us have been looking for an electric car and wanting to get an electric car for so long. And this is the BMW i4 and it is so cool. Look how sporty it is, like, it's so fancy pants. This is our first like drive in the car because it was delivered yesterday. We are literally going around the corner to take Roxy for a walk. I'm a little bit terrified. So Alex is going to be doing it first because it's there's lots of stuff I don't understand because I drive manual. This is automatic and I also drive a normal car rather than an electric car. So there's lots of learning to do, but I'm very intrigued to see how it's going to be traveling across the country because we live in Cornwall we're going to the Lake District it's like an eight hour drive it's going to be a very interesting experience to see how it works with long distance travel and <gasps> Bobby you're not allowed up here right <laughs> on foot on the brake that's it whoa Bobby's excited so you've got the task of reversing ha 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 just do it it will tell you how to do it yeah. I'll stop filming so you don't feel stressed. That is cool. Look, it's got a bird's eye camera. Hang on, what's this guy? Wow. Hello. This is fun. Much better than our reversing camera. Holy moly. Is this the heated steering wheel? Oh. There we go. Oh my God. I'm not used to this. <laughs> um. <laughs> so we have an extremely narrow driveway and it's one of the things that we're going to be changing hopefully next year it's just so narrow to reverse out of so we want to widen it and that just did most of the work for us this sounds like a spaceship Oh my goodness. It literally sounds like a spaceship. I like the heads up display thing that shows you in the, the screen. I don't know if you can see it from that angle. No. It shows you your, the speed limit and your speed. This Nifty. is neat. It literally sounds like a spaceship. It does. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave the BMW chat for the actual video that we go to the Lake District and we'll tell you more about it then for those of you who are interested in electric cars and stuff you can't see me anyway so we'll see you at the when we get there Bobby you're like camouflaged <laughs> she blends in <laughs> Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? Where is he? Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? <laughs> Good girl. We have a slightly ill patient. 
He just asked me to walk slower because he's been ill. Still ill. Still ill. Thank you. Bless your cotton socks. We're back in the room. I'm gonna ask Alex about his opinion on this because this is where the curtain back holders were. I do think I still have them in this drawer here. One of these drawers, here they are. Um, and they're quite nice. So we've got a few actually from different rooms. No, that's that's the, <laughs> to, that's not the curtain back, that's the hold up curtain pole. Here they are. I think they're really lovely. So I think that we're just gonna try and refit them um, by putting a new screw thing on there. So I don't think, I think I need to fill this hole because that's obviously just crumbled away. But I don't think I need to fill that one. But I'll ask Alex, he may say we should refill them and start again. But I think the main job is gonna be doing a bit of sanding and potentially a little bit of filling. Well, actually, I'm not probably not gonna do any filling, but just like clean the skirting boards so that I could, although is that really point, is it pointless to clean them until like I'm painting? I'm going to like chip away at this and maybe do a bit of filling here. Get Alex to move the bed with me. Um, I want your guys' opinion on this. Maybe I'll ask you a bit later as well. So we have this beautiful pine, antique pine chest of drawers in here. We also have one in our bedroom. We've got one here as well. I got these ages ago and I really, really love them. But my question was, should I paint this one? or will I really regret it because I'm buying some furniture today from Facebook I'll show you what I get obviously I'll take you along with me for this room and a couple of the things are like dark wood and I'm wondering if this should be painted but then I say that and this bed is a light wood so who knows but I also I'm not one for matching woods I think that it can look a bit twee or a bit old-fashioned if you match stuff too much. And I think if you're gonna use antiques, I think this is probably, I don't know, maybe some of you think that the style of the house in here is naff, <laughs> not naff, um, old fashioned. I do love an old fashioned style um, for this home. I really love it when people have like old homes and they decorate it, juxtapose it with some modern stuff, but it's just not my style. Uh, I realised that I did go for that a, a while back, like with our old home, I did kind of embrace the kind of minimalist, kind of Scandi look, which I do think is gorgeous, and I actually love looking at homes like that. Um, almost like in the Cotswolds, you see those beautiful homes that really embrace the kind of Mediterranean slash Scandi vibe, and I think it looks gorgeous. I also love the kind of very rustic, uh, reclaimed look, like I really do love that, but in my heart, I love the traditional English look, especially for this home. I just feel like it. I want to embrace it in this home. And maybe when we had the cottage that I wanted to embrace the more sort of minimalist, Scandi kind of rustic look because it felt like it had that vibe to it. And I feel like when you're in a home, like I feel like if I had a townhouse, I would embrace more modern things. Anyway, ramble. I really like to embrace the traditional aesthetic with traditional things, but put a little bit of modern in there not too much but a little bit um and i think a key thing is not having like matching sets in your bedroom or anything and having clearly hello <laughs> clearly having bits of furniture like vintage furniture that you picked out that don't match that are a bit whatever 
we need to figure out what it is we need to do in here. So, do you think, well first of all, can we move this bed just out a little bit so we can get to the back? Oh my gosh, we've come across a problem. The back of this bed is covered in mould. Well look, guess who's been sleeping here? So, this mould and this mould is the reason that we need to repoint the house. We also, we have a dehumidifier in here, but we do tend to, it's probably just a mistake we've been making, we do tend to hang the washing in here because this is a room that's not used. So, we hang the washing up in this other spare bedroom in this room. But I think decorating in here will really help the mould because I find that always helps. If you decorate a room, then you clean everything, you paint the walls so there's a fresh layer of paint. I guess we just need to make sure we're putting the dehumidifier in here and then it's reiterating the issue that we have. So basically these two walls, the walls, these three walls, uh, these two have paint on them and that wall is like you can see on the outside the damp like dripping like down, the water dripping down the side because the gutters are broken. So one of the gutters just that goes into nothing, so it's dripping down the stonework, which is causing a bit of damp in our bedroom. And then these walls, because they're, they've got masonry paint and then like a layer of like, is it called like sand cement or something that people put on before they paint a wall on the outside, which basically is stopping the granite from breathing. And there's, this is north facing, so there's no sunshine on it. Next year, we're thinking that we're go we had this conversation yesterday that because we've had so many hiccups and problems with the patio, we're considering getting um, speaking to a builder who's doing my brother and sister-in-law's house and maybe speaking to a couple of other builders too, but they really came highly recommended because they've done such a good job. And having a conversation about them coming in and doing everything all in one go because they're a big team and they have a lot of experience with building houses. <laughs> so doing like the repointing of the house, removing the paint, doing the driveway, doing the patio, just doing it all so that we don't have to worry about having like people come and go or have, you know, different different builders or different tradesmen just have a group of people come in and have someone organize it and get a quote for it and just sort it all in one go so that the gutters can be sorted, the repointing, the driveway, everything can be like done outside it just depends on how much it will cost because it's obviously going to be a really expensive job and we just need to make sure that we can budget for it and save up for it but we'll see but that's what we're thinking as we move forwards with our renovation lessons and get a cornish wall built much nicer driveway entrance gravel everything get everything lovely outside and then it's going to help with the longevity and the maintenance of the house inside might be ambitious to do any thing now <laughs> because the morning has run away with us. So instead, I'm gonna move a few things out of here, cover everything up, get all the tools ready, so that it's like the room is in renovation mode. <laughs> What I was going to ask you about these is obviously these I'm assuming you can just take these little bits off mm. right and put new ones on yep and put that back in the wall so how does it but obviously I was wondering do we fill those holes and start fresh what the I know they have been digging for treasure in I there. know um well I guess that was the one wasn't it yeah. yes so who knows? I mean, do we need to re just fill holes and start again or what? Possibly, I'll have a think. I mean, because I can just fill it now quickly. Why not? We'll keep this rail as it is, you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, then I guess it would go there. Um, it doesn't have to go there. I don't know how this works. So I guess you have to unscrew that. Yeah. And look, you might be able to get away with it. But shall I at least fill that hole? Yeah. And then what do I do on this side? Just leave it for now. <clears throat> That is a monster. I feel like we should fill it and start again. 
Well, yeah, you, you gotta fill. Wow. What on earth? What is that in there? That's that's a little thing in there. Huh. But why was it such a big hole? It's like the most basic <sighs> thing. I mean, we've learned that from this house. It's just. Maybe they just yanked. Yeah. They just yanked out. Yeah. I might have done that. Still, I spoke, yeah. I mean, it can. Shall I fill it? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Pew pew. <laughs> right. How far does this hole go in? So we're using this so that. Um, what's in here? Coving filler. <laughs> yeah. But it's adhesive. I think it doesn't really matter. It's just it's to adhesive start. And filler. It's just to start this hole because if I use this stuff. Um, with a scraper, it will just crack okay. because it won't be far enough in. You need to get in real deep. That's it. It's not really like filler, you know, because it's a glue. Yeah. Just fill the hole with your cream. Oh, Alex, it's not working. Can you get a thing? That's enough for now, and then we'll sand it and do another layer. We'll do it over here as well. I bet there's like builders watching this cringing. Mm. Make do. Yeah, that'll be fine. Not that one? Yeah, do that one. Thing is, we're not builders, so we don't have all the right equipment. Oh. Use your fingers, come on. I don't want to use my fingers, I'm about to get a manicure. Yeah? So now is the perfect time to get your hands dirty. <laughs> Right. So, okay. what do you reckon for the... This Made a lot thing? of progress today. No, I'm going to do it when I come home. But like, Come back you, in the next video. Down here, do you think just like scrape off the small amount of... Oh, there's a big spider there. Yeah. Him. Do you think just don't... Look at the colour underneath. That's not far off what I want to do. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, no. Because it's you, you don't want to like... That's what, yeah, gosh, it's uh, stuff you don't realise until you actually start. I've looked at this a lot. Renovating. Times. So I think that you don't want to, the thing is with scraping stuff, you don't want to go overboard because then you could end up with a massive hole. Yeah. But you also don't want to leave. I mean, I'm talking like I know what I'm doing. I don't, I'm literally just figuring out as I go. But just from the small amounts of renovating we've done. Yeah. You want to scrape it a bit so there's no, I think I need to get a better scraper. This Oops. is flimsy. That is fine. Yeah. You don't need to be perfect about it. It's the kind of end stuff. Give it a quick push and hold it here for a second. I'm in the car. That was um, a series of unfortunate events. So I go to get in the shower and then remember about our boiler. I don't know how I managed to forget these things, but our boiler's broken. So it's kind of working, but kind of not. So you need to sort of switch it on about 15 minutes before you want to have a shower and try and get a little bit of hot water and then have kind of like a semi-cold, semi-hot water shower. Except I forgot to do that and then when we went to do it, it wasn't actually heating up. So I had to have a cold shower and I, it was hair wash day, which is another thing I kind of forgot because last night I oiled my hair so that I would wash my hair, kind of forgetting that probably should have just waited another day to wash my hair because the plumber is supposed to be coming later on, which I've just realized as well, what if he's, he comes when we're out? He said after work, so yeah. yeah, so I should have just waited another day until hopefully the boiler was fixed, but I just, I suppose my brain is full. And then I went to dry my hair and the Dyson decided to pack up. So if you are a wavy fellow, wavy curly haired girl, you know that trying to blow dry your hair straight with just no um, attachments doesn't work. So my hair is like, I mean, it looks fine, but you can see how it's like kind of, it'll probably be fine if I, if I press it kind of underneath my coat for the journey, but it's quite frizzy. Um, I mean, I'm looking at it now, maybe it's actually all right. Maybe it's fine, actually. Gosh, you really can see I need to dye it. Look at the the warmth at the ends of my hair. Cause anyway, the Dyson decided to pack up, so I was frantically trying to dry my hair, and now we're really late. So hopefully I don't, don't miss my appointment. Uh, and we're picking up a chair on the way. It's all a bit chaotic today. 
we've got the chair in the boot. It's lovely. It's 30 pounds and it's very unique. So it's like a little bedroom chair. That's cheered me up a slight amount. You like it? I had a moment, I was quite angry. Yes. <laughs> I've cheered off of it now. Um, and yeah, so I'll have my nails done, that'll cheer me up. Mm -hmm. What color shall I go for? Uh, black, like your heart. I'm feeling, I'm just gonna ignore this crap. I'm, go I'm feeling, I'm gonna get some photos up, but I wonder if I should do kind of a French manicure, but with a little bit of sparkle. Or is that really, really, really like tacky? Got my nails done and I don't know if I'm like, I'm getting sucked into the the world of having your nails done because it really makes you feel so good. Like it really does. So I went in there like my nails looked awful. Um, and I just decided to go for just like acrylic nails. <laughs> So they're like, look at them. Can you focus please, camera? Look how beautiful that is. It's like a really subtle sparkle. Um, so it's festive, but it's not too much. <laughs> it reminds me of my auntie. She always has perfect nails. She would approve. <laughs> Do you like my nails? Yes. <laughs> so now we're going to collect a chandelier from Facebook Marketplace for 20 quid. Wait, do we have 20 quid? There must be a cash point here. <laughs> Do you right. not, did you not just get cash out? Have you only got 15? I have 15 pounds. Oh, for crying out loud. Have you not got any money in your wallet? Just do what that person did last time. Just turn up and say it's 15, okay? <laughs> yeah, I sold my chairs and they agreed to a price and then showed up and were like, oh, is it okay if you take 10 pounds off? And I was like, um. Yes, sir. <laughs> I did, I was just like, okay. But also secretly I was like, but we agreed a price. You shouldn't be bargaining here. We have just picked up a few bits from Facebook. First is these two lamps, which I'll obviously show you in situ when we do the room. I'm thinking I might change the lampshades. Basically, I'll put them in place when we finish the room, um, but I might buy some patterned lampshades and see what they look like because I'm wondering if I'm gonna paint the room green. I w might want some contrast, but they also look really cool. And then when I was there, she was selling, they were selling this mirror and they gave it to me for five quid and it's really beautiful. It's got this lovely sort of um, engraving all around the edge. Um, we also picked up this chair. Let me just move this mirror. We also picked up this chair, which again, I'll show you properly um, when it's in the room and another time because it's all in this dark hallway, but it's this lovely Victorian chair that's got this rattan design on it. And then this, is a table this has obviously come out but this is very fun because look at it inside so it's some kind of like vanity table but this is going to be like a bedside table and I, you know i have a thing for the barley twist legs i just think they're gorgeous we've got quite a few bits of barley twist furniture and i just think they're so pretty so this can act like a bedside table and what i just need now it's quite a high table that's the only thing but i'm trying to find a table that's a similar height that can go on the other side because then the idea is that these lamps go on either side and match but we're just gonna wing it the thing is you can get so much great stuff on facebook marketplace for so affordable uh this was 30 pounds these two are 30 pounds and that was also 30 pounds this was five pounds and we also got the lamp this is from laura ashley and this was 20 quid obviously i'll adjust all the little bits of glass but I mean it's such a lovely little traditional sort of bedroom lamp and just looking online these sorts of chandeliers usually are at least a hundred quid and if this is from Laura Ashley then it was probably a significant cost sorry about all this stuff here um some of it's Christmas decorations and some of it is giveaway stuff and we just haven't had the time because we've been away every weekend and every second we're home, we're doing Vlogmas, that we haven't had time to continue decorating. But yeah, I'm very happy. So it was 20 pounds, 50, 80, 110, 115 quid to deck out a lot of our bedroom. So the only things we need now, like I said, is another table, like a high table, 
basically instead of a bedside table I'll look for something that's more like a drinks table that you would have in a living room but I'll use it as a bedside table kind of similar to the setup in our other spare bedroom and potentially I don't know if we need any other furniture I think it would just be cushions and stuff so yeah amazing I'm just heating up dinner because we're having leftovers but gotta make some fresh rice it is giveaway time and today's giveaway is with Mirabeau who are kindly gifting a bottle of Mirabeau wine. It comes in their beautiful display case. I did share this I think in another video so maybe I can insert the clip of the, the case it comes in. It comes in this really cool like um, zero waste recyclable case. Um, it's their vegan organic sustainable wine. It's not exact this one I don't think um, but this is another this is another Mirabeau, but I don't have the other one because I drank it because they sent it to me a month or so ago. And it's so, so delicious. So if you want to win a bottle of Mirabeau Rosé, then let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and share. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. You know the drill by now. Be careful of scammers and good luck. And hopefully you can enjoy it over the festive season or at Christmas time. And obviously it goes without saying you have to be over 18 to enter this giveaway. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. I'm very sorry that there wasn't any more renovating, but the day ran away with itself and we'll have to just do that next time. <laughs>